And. 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 <laughs> and. No, wait, there's more. I don't know what you're going to say. I was going, uh, what's up, Remy? What's up, everybody? We loved our trip to Ireland, but there are five things we really wish we knew before we went. And we want to share those five tips with you to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes we did. <laughs> but before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notifications. Super helps the channel out. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. That's our next goal. Remy says, please subscribe. Hey, Remy, tell them to subscribe. <laughs> our number one tip is to make restaurant reservations, especially if there's somewhere you really, really want to eat. This is, there's a reason why this is number one. Eating is an affair out there. And so if you don't make those reservations, you need to be flexible on where you want to eat. We saw a few people out who didn't understand this and they were not happy. Uh, they walked off with uh, not so great attitudes as well. We tend to just kind of fly by the seat of our pants. We're not very good at making reservations, but to compensate for that, we just tried to be very flexible and easygoing with where we ended up eating. And we still ended up having great food, but either make reservations if you have your heart set on something or just be flexible and go with the flow. Tip number two, pack layers because the weather changed throughout the day. Sometimes it was colder, sometimes it was warmer. So it's just easier to have layers you can take on and off as needed. It was also in general, like a little bit more conservative than other places we've traveled. Uh, not like, you know, over the top conservative, but just didn't see like a lot of skin showing. People tended to dress like a little bit nicer. I didn't see a lot of like athleisure, not really any like ripped jeans and I love ripped jeans. So uh, I was definitely on the lookout for them. I don't know if it was just the area that we traveled to, but people just tended to be like, more put together and weren't showing like a ton of skin. So think about that as you're packing. I got a jacket while I was there because it was raining and I didn't pack a raincoat. <laughs> Don't do that. Tip number three, do not be afraid to talk to people. They are so friendly everywhere we went in Ireland, whether it was at a bar, whether it was passing someone on the street, whether it was at a restaurant, people like just, genuinely wanted to get to know us and like ask us about our life stories and we got to hear about their life stories and that's probably one of like my favorite parts of the entire trip was just meeting people with different backgrounds and like just learning new perspectives was amazing. Tip number four, returning the rental car and getting through the airport. First off, the sign to go return your rental car is not that clear. It's not in the same place where you actually pick up your car. Um, and so just give yourself actual time to get, there's a shuttle that takes you back and forth. So give yourself the time to take the shuttle there. Um, but then the second thing that we want to talk about is if you have the food allergies like me, try to eat before you go through the pre-clearance if you're taking a direct flight back to the States. There were very limited options and the options that were there had extremely long lines, especially if the place served alcohol. So we may do with like the few varieties of chips he was able to eat. And like that was basically all he ate until we got back to the States because uh, we also didn't request a special meal in time <laughs> on the airlines. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely eat before if you have food allergies or if you just don't want to be limited to the small selection past the pre-clearance. Tip number five, we cannot stress. Oh, I hit the thing. Tip number five, we cannot stress this enough. Do not just stay in Dublin. Please, Dublin's cool, but it is another city, right? If you've been to a big city, you've possibly been to parts of Dublin. There's a lot of awesome history and really cool places to go, but like the beauty, if you like natural beauty, like just nature like us, there is so much of it on the Western part of the country. And so going to Killarney, going to Galway, every stop we took, we were just, our breath was taken away from the natural beauty that existed out there. And we honestly said to ourselves, we wish we had more time at every place that we were, um, specifically on the Western part of the country. So we hope those tips helped you. Take advantage of our learning mistakes. Don't make the same errors that we made. Go check out Ireland, it's absolutely amazing. And we are already working on our next trip. It's like, keep going, and.
<laughs> We're already working on the next video from our next trip, which is going to be 48 hours at Disneyland. I went for my first time. It's gonna be a two-part series on how to optimize your 48 hours at Disneyland. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it also helps get the video out to other people who might be wondering, is this trip for me? And go make the trip your own. Bye. Bye.